Kyle, you going off. Hold on. What's good guys, it's your boy Cam back with a YouTube video and today man, we're going to be checking out New Rule, Along for the Pride, uh, Real Time with Bill Mayer. Um, a clip of this played in a, um, a video I reacted to and I wanted to check it out. You guys sent me the, uh, the link to said video, uh, so we're going to check it out bro, Along for the Pride. <laughs> Let's get it. Something about the human race. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, he's gonna go in. Oh my gosh. And finally, new rule if something about the human race is changing at a previously unprecedented rate, we have to at least discuss it. Broken down over time, the LGBT population of America seems to be roughly doubling every generation. According to a recent Gallup poll, less than 1% of Americans born before 1946, that's Joe Biden's generation, identify that way. 2.6% of boomers do. 4.2% of Gen X, 10.5% of Millennials, and 20.8% of Gen Z. Which means if we follow this trajectory, we will all be gay in 2054. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he's stupid, bro. He's stupid. Shut up, bro. <laughs> and then who's going to buy this chair? <laughs> I'm just saying that when things change this much, this fast, people are allowed to ask, what's up with that? All the babies are in the wrong bodies? Was there a mix-up at the plant, like with Captain Crunch's Oops All Berries? <laughs> That's a fire cereal, by the way. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when adults asked a kid, what do you want to be when you grow up? They no. meant, what profession? <laughs> In the wake of America about to lose abortion rights, the ACLU recently tweeted a list of those who would be disproportionately harmed by this. You would think women might top that list. <laughs> no, wasn't even on the list. Second on the list was LGBT. Really? Abortion rights affects gay and trans people more than you know, breeders. <laughs> I'm happy for LGBT folks. Bro, he is wicked. Did he get canceled? Did he get canceled for this? It's that we now live in an age where they can live their authentic lives open. It's crazy. I got to ask that, right? And we should always be mindful of respecting and protecting. But someone needs to say it. Not everything's about you. And it's okay to ask questions about something that's very new and involves children. The answer can't always be that anyone from a marginalized community is automatically right, trump card, mic drop, end of discussion. Because we're literally experimenting on children. Maybe that's why Sweden and Finland have stopped giving puberty blockers to kids. Because we just don't know much about the long-term effects. Although common sense should tell you that when you reverse the course of raging hormones, oh. There's going to be problems. We do know it hinders the development of bone density, which is kind of important if you like having a skeleton. <laughs> what the heck? Fertility and the ability to have an orgasm seem also to be affected. This isn't just a lifestyle decision. It's medical. Weighing trade-offs is not bigotry. Yet when a book questioning the sudden uptick in transitioning children was released, a trans lawyer with the ACLU named Chase Strangio tweeted, stopping the circulation of this book and these ideas is 100% a hill I will die on. How very civil liberties of him. Chase, by the way, has just been named one of the grand marshals of this year's New York City Pride March, along with three other trans people and a lesbian. Huh, what's missing here? Oh, right, a gay man. <laughs> That's where we are now. Gay men aren't hip enough for the gay pride parade. <laughs> Compared to trans, gay is practically cis, and cis is practically Mormon. 
<laughs> what the heck? And this is a phenomenon we need to take into account when we look at this issue. Yes, part of the rise in LGBT numbers is from people feeling free enough to tell it to a pollster, and that's all to the good. But some of it is, it's trendy. Yep. Penis equals man. Okay, boomer. <laughs> Remember, the prime directive of every teen is anything to shock and challenge the squares who brought you up. It's why nobody gets a nose ring at 56. <laughs> That's true. And if you haven't noticed that with kids, doing something for the likes is more important than their own genitals, you haven't been paying attention. Dr. Erica Anderson is a prominent 71-year-old clinical psychologist who is herself transgender and who now says, I think it's gone too far. The L.A. Times summarizes, she's come to believe that some children identifying as trans are falling under the influence of their peers and social media. I mean, yeah. If you attend a small dinner party of typically very liberal upper-income Angelinos, it is not uncommon to hear parents who each have a trans kid having a conversation about that. Oh, wow. What are the odds of that happening in Youngstown, Ohio? If this spike in trans children is all natural... Why is it regional? Either Ohio is shaming them or California is creating them. Mm. It's like that day we suddenly all needed bottled water all the time. <laughs> if we can't admit that in certain enclaves there is some... Hold on, y'all. Let me let this cat out. We back. ...level of trendiness to the idea... If we can't admit that in certain enclaves there is some level of trendiness to the idea of being anything other than straight, then this is not a serious science-based discussion. It's a blow being struck in the culture wars using children as cannon fodder. Wow. I don't understand parents who won't let their nine-year-old walk to the corner without a helmet, an EpiPen, and a GPS tracker. <laughs> and God forbid their lips touch dairy. But <laughs> but hormone blockers and genital surgery, fine. <laughs> Talk about a nut allergy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she ain't happy. I uh, I guess penises are gross now, but <laughs> one might come in handy later on. <laughs> And if you're a man who wants to experience life without a pair of balls, you do not have to get surgery. You can get married. <laughs> kid. Oh, we joke. And never forget, children are impressionable and very, very stupid. <laughs> Kids don't know why mom drinks every day or why dad has two cell phones. Maybe the boy who thinks he's a girl is just gay. Or whatever Fraser was. <laughs> Dang, why you gotta root Fraser? <laughs> Maybe the girl who hates girly stuff just needs to learn that being female doesn't mean you have to act like a Kardashian. Maybe childhood makes you sad sometimes, and there are other solutions besides hand me the dick saw. <laughs> no, sir. And look, I'm sure the vast majority of parents do not take this lightly, and that it's very hard to know when something is real or just a phase. Mm. And I understand being trans is different. It's innate. But kids do also have phases. They're kids. It's all phases. The dinosaur phase, the Hello Kitty phase. One day they want to be an astronaut, the next day you can't get them to leave their room. Gender fluid, kids are fluid about everything. If kids knew what they wanted to be at age eight, the world would be filled with cowboys and princesses. That is true. I, That's true, bro. I used to change my mind all the time as a kid, bro.
I gotta be like, I wanna, I wanna go to my cousin's house. I changed my mom. I changed my mind. It'd be like 3 a.m. Mom, can you come pick me up? I don't wanna be here no more. Like, bro. And I, and I keep asking to go back to my cousin's house. And I call every time at 3 a.m. On the dot. I changed my mind. Can you pick me up? All the time, bro. I have so many more examples, bro. I wanted to be a pirate. Right? I wanted to be a firefighter. Thank God nobody took me seriously and scheduled me for eye removal and peg leg surgery. <laughs> hey, bro, I wonder, did he get canceled, bro? This video got 3 million views. I imagine a lot of people was pissed, right? Children are impressionable and very, very stupid. Give this man an Emmy. That's hilarious, man. Uh, that's the end of the video, bro. Let me know in the comments section below how you felt about this video, bro. Do you think he's speaking fast? Do you think he's capping it? Do you think he's tripping? Or is he, you know what I'm saying? Let me know, man. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload because I'm posting every single day on this channel, man. And hit the like button so this video gets pushed out. And I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.